Hey guys, Asher from CurseForward.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash Android version 4.3 onto your Galaxy S4 i9505. So as you can see, this release is pretty stable and everything works fine. But keep in mind that this is not a TouchWiz based ROM. This has been ported over from the Google Play edition of the Galaxy S4. So your TouchWiz functionality would not be available. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about prerequisites. First off, this will work only with the Galaxy S4 i9505. It will not work with the i9500. Next, your i9505 needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. So if you guys haven't done that already, I've got a link to my tutorial on how to root your Galaxy S4 i9505 and get Clockwork Mod Recovery on it in the description right below the like button. So go ahead, check that out, uh, get rooted get a custom recovery installed and uh, continue with this video. And guys, keep in mind that since we are switching uh, Android versions, all your data will be lost when you flash Android 4.3. So go ahead, make sure you have a backup before you continue. So assuming that you have root access and you have a custom recovery, just click on uh, the link in the download section in the description and you will get a 350 MB file, download it, Transfer it to your internal or internal or external uh, memories of your Galaxy S4. And once you've done that, go ahead, hold the power button, hit power off. Now, once the Galaxy S4 is off, go ahead, hold the up volume, power, and home buttons at the same time. So that's up volume, power, and home at the same time. You can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S4 displayed. Now, this will boot you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So guys, don't worry, your recovery might look a little different from mine, but it's the same options anyway. So let me just pull the phone in a little closer. All right, so uh, I've got a touch recovery. If you don't, you can still you can use your volume keys to navigate and your power button for selections. So the first thing you do is select install zip. Choose it from SD card if it's the internal. Or external SD card if you have it on your micro SD. I've got it on my internal SD. Now navigate to wherever it is that you have uh, the zip file. So that's the zip file we downloaded. So hit the power button and now select yes install. So this will take a few more of a minute or two so just wait for it to complete. All right guys now we're done just uh, hitting any key so now, what you do next is go back and select wipe data factory reset and uh, hit wipe uh, data slash factory reset. Yes, delete all user data. So again, a few seconds to complete. Done. So now uh, go, go to wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. All right, done. So now go into advanced next and select wipe Dalvik cache. Yes, wipe Dalvik cache. All right, now that's done. Go back, select reboot system now. So guys, give it a few minutes to boot. Since this is the first time this version of Android is booting, it will be longer than your regular boot time. So don't worry if it takes quite a few minutes. Give it about five minutes at max. Uh, and your Galaxy S4 will boot up. All right, guys, we're up here, so let me quickly run through setup. All right, guys, I just got through setup, so we are up here. So that's Android 4.3, Google Play version on your Galaxy S4. So just going into settings, about phone, there you see Android 4.3, chili bean. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any questions, you can hit us up at cursepower.com slash forums. And before you go, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we'll be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S4 and generally everything in Android. In the meantime, if you guys do have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All the contact information for my social networks can be found in the description right below the like button. So 
that's it for now hope you guys liked the video hope it was useful uh thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys soon with more videos till then it's ash here from curseforward.com signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now